In this lesson, we are going to be looking at the slope intercept form of a line. The slope, so, so, so let me first say that there are many different ways that you can write the equation of a straight line. Um, the main ones that we are going to be looking at is slope intercept form, standard form, point slope. But in this lesson specifically, we're going to focus on slope intercept. Now, slope intercept has a formula that goes like this. It's y equals to mx plus c. Now, you must bear with me. Some schools don't use a c. They might use a different letter. So your teacher might use a b or a q. There are different ways of doing that, okay? But that's not what's important. What you must just remember is that there is usually a y and an x then there's a letter in front of the x. Now that letter that's in front of the x is what we will call the slope. That's called the slope, okay? It's always the one that's in front of the x. And then this one over here, which is the number that's by itself, is going to be called the y-intercept. Now what's very important is that the y-value is completely by itself. Can you see that? There is no number in front, there is no negative, and there's no other variable next to it. It is completely alone. That is how you get, or well, that is what we call slope intercept form. So I'm going to give you five equations quickly, and you need to work out whether that is written in slope intercept form or not. So for the first example, we're going to say 2x minus y equals to 6. Is that slope intercept form? We will say no. The reason is, is that the y value has to be by itself, but it's not. It is not completely by itself. Here's number 2. Is the y completely by itself in this one? Yes, the y is completely alone. It doesn't matter if it's on the left hand side or the right hand side. So we will say for this one, yes, that is slope intercept form. Number 3. For number three, what would you say? Well, can you see that the y is not by itself? So this one we would say no. Let's try another one, number four. So for number four, it looks like the y is almost by itself, but then you can see that there's this random minus two. So the y is not by itself, so we would say no. And then lastly, number five, here we have at number five, we've got the y completely by itself. So for this one, we would say, yes, that is slope intercept form. So that's all I really wanted to speak about in this lesson. I just wanted you to get an idea of what slope intercept form actually looks like. Of course, in future lessons, we are going to be doing calculations and we're going to go much further into this. But for now, I just want you to understand what slope intercept form actually means.